the purpose of life? <gasps> I really couldn't tell you. I'm just kind of living it to live, I guess. I'm here. Everyone's here for a purpose. You know, what that is, I don't know. No. I think you can pass it up if you don't find what the purpose is. You can just <laughs> go through life and never even know. <laughs> for me, the purpose of life is to achieve the things that the gifts that God's given me. <laughs> I don't know what the purpose of life is. What do you think? Oh, I really don't have any real purpose. Working toward retirement's all. What is the purpose of life? To achieve knowledge. That's a tough. I think the purpose of life is uh, to live a good life and serve God. I'm not sure there is a purpose to life. I have no idea. You tell me. The melody's familiar. What's the purpose of life? I have no idea. I'm life? trying to figure it out. I've heard this song before. What is the purpose of life? Life in general, in abstract? I can't help but ask these questions. I'm sorry. It's been around ten thousand years. Or maybe even more. What do you think the purpose of life is? I've been trying to figure that out all my life. the purpose of life sooner or later I think everyone asks these questions I guess I was oh maybe nine or ten and our family was over at my grandma's house for one of my aunt's birthdays I think somehow it worked out that grandma and I were alone on the front porch swing and I like that she had a way of making everyone feel so special and loved. That day she asked me if I was happy, and I, I said, sure, Grandma. And she said, that's really good, because the main purpose of life is to learn to live happily. Somehow that kind of stuck with me, and I've tried to live my life that way, to try to live happily. But the older I've gotten, the more I've realized that happiness is often fleeting. I mean, things can be so wonderful one day. The family can be so close. Your relationships with your friends can be great. <laughs> things can be almost perfect. And then somehow, they can all crumble and go away. Those have been the times for me when, when I've most seriously asked myself, what's it all for? What's the point? Who am I, anyway? Any of this sound familiar? Well, as I said before, sooner or later, I think everyone finds themselves asking these kind of questions. Well, I found something. Something that's helped. Some answers about what my Father in Heaven's plan is for His children to find true happiness and meaning in life. These answers have better helped me to understand who I am, what I'm doing here, and what role Jesus Christ plays in the plan. You know, once you find something like this that truly helps you in your own life, the first thing you want to do is share it. 
Well, I hope the thoughts and music I'll be sharing with you for the next few minutes will, will ring a responsive chord in you and begin to help you as much as they've helped me. But, you know, I guess in the final analysis, the only way that you're going to know if the things I'm saying are true or not is if the Lord whispers to your own spirit that they are true. In other words, I'm not trying so much to convince you that what I believe is right as much as I'm just hoping to share with you what I've found so that, so that you can find out for yourself if they are true with God's help. I hope I do okay. I am a child of God and He has sent me has given me an earthly home with parents kind and dear. Lead me, guide me, walk beside me, help me find the way. Teach me all that I must do to live with him someday. The first concept I'd like to share with you is that God is our Father, and that we, all of us, are his children, and that he loves each of us so much that he developed a plan that would enable each of us to reach our greatest potential. And the first step in this plan was for us to come to Earth. Our loving Father in Heaven knew that only by entering this world could we begin the process that would lead to our greatest possible happiness. The miracle of birth is that, that precious moment when we meet our anxious and loving earthly parents. What about her? It's Look at her. Bird. It's our bird. <laughs> Little girl. <laughs> That's Christina. Oh, That's the first cry. Oh. Hi, and she looks beautiful. Oh, look at her. Her toes are stretchy, Charlie. <laughs> oh, that's good. Her curly feet. I love it. Oh, listen to her. Cry for us. There she goes. Oh, it's worth every second. You just had your own little miracle right there. Oh. of God being a loving father in heaven wasn't that hard for me to understand because I have a wonderful father here on earth and it makes sense to me that if you really love your children what you want most is for them to learn the things that will help them to be the happiest in God's eyes we're all his children who have to learn the important lessons of this life little by little step by step like children when I teach you to tie your shoes Read the funnies and add a two plus two. I'll smile so proudly while I watch you grow. But there's a lot more I want you to know. 
It's helped me to picture a loving father in heaven watching me go through the learning process of life. And, like my father here on earth, giving me encouragement and support without robbing me of the chance to learn things for myself. I'll try to teach you that you've got the stuff to make your dreams come true if you'll just try hard enough. But more than anything that I've been dreaming of, I hope you want to fill the world with love. But if I can teach you anything at all, I hope you know I love you more than I can say. I hope you know I love you more than I can say. I should say here that a very important part of our Father in Heaven's plan is individual freedom to choose or free agency. He knew that without the ability to make our own choices and to learn from our individual decisions, the growing process would be virtually impossible. And sometimes when we do something foolish that causes us heartache or pain, we probably wish we hadn't been given so much freedom. I hope you know I love you. An all-wise and an all-knowing father knew that free agency was an essential part of his plan. Many of us, when we reach adolescence, push our free agency to the limit. We start searching for an understanding of who we are and, and what life's all about. And yet, during this time of searching in our lives, if someone were to ask us, I think it would be hard for us to say just what it is we're looking for. When Father sent us here to Earth, he knew that we'd have to struggle to find the answers to life's tough questions. But he hasn't left us alone. Someone has seen what we're looking for. Someone has been down the road before us. And when you think about it, it wouldn't make very much sense for a concerned father to send his children away to learn important truths without also making sure there was a way for us to find those truths. Well. The pattern our Father in Heaven designed for His children to find answers about the purpose of life hasn't changed since the world began. Our Heavenly Father has always spoken to prophets. These special people like Moses and Isaiah are given profound truths from God Himself which are meant to bless all of Heavenly Father's children and to help them to understand His plan. Then, He commands His prophets to share these truths with everyone they can. The prophets share the message with all who will listen to them personally or read the things they have written. This is how we get scripture. Prophets write down the things they've learned from God. But God doesn't ask all the rest of his children to simply take their word for it. Our Father in Heaven has promised to tell us personally, by the power of the Holy Ghost, what is true, if we ask him. In other words, when we hear or read something that claims to be the truth from our Father in Heaven, we can know for ourselves if those things are true. We just have to ask Him. You know, it's really very simple, and yet beautiful. The hard part for me was actually learning how to talk to my Father in Heaven, and to really believe that He would not only hear me, but he would also answer what was in my heart. And I think that's something most of us worry about. It doesn't seem to matter how I try These thoughts just keep returning to my mind not being heard when I prayed, but I had a feeling deep down that a loving father would never ignore his child 
who is really trying to reach him. He's never broken his promise. He'll be there. He hears each word and each heart felt God in prayer. He's devoted to you. He'll help you know what is true. That's what he's promised. That's what he's promised to do. The first time I tried to pray to find out if I was a child of God and if he did really design a plan for us, it was a real struggle inside. The voice of my fears and the voice of his spirit. of hard to talk about and almost impossible for me to describe but my simple prayer was heard and answered of all the evidence there is that God loves us nothing is as sweet and as real or as lasting as having received an honest answer to a sincere prayer I know if he answers me, he'll answer you. I said earlier that happiness is fleeting, and I guess it is, really. There'll always be times of trouble, times of unhappiness, sorrow. But when I had that experience of having my prayer answered, it gave me something that I can hang on to in those troubled times. I now know that I am a child of God, and that he'll always be there, and that I can talk to him at any time like a friend, like a heavenly father. And he'll be there. He'll hear me. I hope you can experience that for yourself. I really do. Before we move on, I'd like to clarify something. God spoke to prophets thousands of years ago in the Middle East, and their sacred record is the Holy Bible. And he also loved his children who lived on the American continent back then, and he spoke to prophets there as well. Their record of scripture is called the Book of Mormon, another testament of Jesus Christ. In fact, our Father in Heaven continues to speak to living prophets today, exactly the same way he did in Bible times. And just like in Bible times, we can know the truth of the prophet's words for ourselves if we ask our Heavenly Father in prayer. That's why I'm so grateful that our Father in Heaven has promised to answer our prayers about whom we should follow. When Father in Heaven sent us here to Earth to gain physical bodies and learn by experience, He knew two things would happen. First of all, our bodies would get old and diseased, wear out and die. And second, because of our free agency, we'd make mistakes and sin. Now, these two things, 
sin and death, would make it impossible for us to return to our Father in heaven. So Jesus Christ was sent to earth to overcome sin and death and make it possible for us, if we choose, to return to our Father in heaven and continue our growth and development with him forever. Jesus Christ plays the central role in our Father's plan because he not only loves our Father so deeply, but also because he loves us. He offered himself that the rest of us may live forever. And if we repent, we can have the pain and sorrow of our sins washed away. But to take full advantage of Jesus Christ's sacrifice for us, we have to prayerfully acknowledge his role in the plan and grow through the process of changing and overcoming when we've sinned. The light of Christ is God's free gift to all people to serve as a conscience, to let us know when we've done wrong and when we need to change. And though it isn't easy to change and grow and improve, there's a place inside you that only you have known that whispers it's the only way and you won't be alone. The strength and power of the Lord's love is truly amazing. I stand all amazed at the love Jesus offers me. Confused at the grace that so fully he proffers me. I tremble to know that for me he was crucified. That for me, a sinner, he suffered, he bled and died. Oh, it is wonderful that he should care for me enough to die. Jesus Christ is anxious for all of us to take advantage of his mission, his life, his example, and his sacrifice for us. He wants to lift the burden of our sins and help us get on with our lives so that we can grow spiritually and, and have the gift of the Holy Ghost to guide us on a daily basis. He won't turn away when we turn to him. It is the most glorious part of our Father's plan. I know this has been a lot to think about, and I'm sure you've got a lot of questions. I felt good talking to you about these things that have helped me in my life. And there's so much more, too, that we just don't have time to discuss it on this film. I said in the beginning that once you receive something that helps you in your own life, the first thing you want to do is share it. Well, the representatives of the Church of Jesus Christ of Latter-day Saints that visited me and taught me all about Heavenly Father's plan, could visit you in your own home if you feel like you'd like to know more. Their presentation takes about an hour, and if your experience is anything like mine, it could change your life. They can answer many questions you might have and clarify some of the things that I've shared with you. Some of the really interesting things they taught me that might be interesting to you are things like how families can be together forever and where we go after this life. How the Book of Mormon is scripture that is actually another testament of Jesus Christ. How the Lord speaks to prophets today and a deeper look at the life and mission of Jesus Christ and how he's made it possible for us to return to our Heavenly Father's presence. If any of these things sound interesting to you, I think you'd enjoy a visit from these representatives. 
I'd like to share something else with you. And that is the happiness that has come into my life by knowing about the plan. And knowing that we are all literally children of a loving Father in Heaven. And since we are all His children, I guess you and I are brothers and sisters. So, as your brother, I hope you've been able to catch the spirit of what I've been sharing with you. I said in the beginning that I'm not trying so much to convince you that what, that what I believe is right, as much as I'm just hoping to share with you what I found, so that you can find out for yourself whether it's true or not, with God's help. I know He hears us, for we are His children, and we are not alone. In your hour of doubt, loneliness or fear, listen to your heart. Your prayers are heard. You're 